people and pitches, good whatever your case may be, I am Pitch Jack, and we're back in Dead Space 1 where I just cut this dude's head off. Because if you cut their head off, they can't come back. Although I think that dude's bugged because he has a tendency to still get brought back every damn time I play the game. Uh, God, I hate this, I hate this, I, hate, I have to be like all the way over here. And drop something before I can pick this thing up, because apparently it believes that pulse or uh, med kits are more um, important to me than uh, what should I call them? Um, than pulse rifle ammo, and I can still pick it up again now, because you yeah, know we I keep getting things that I can't use. Am I being too ammo efficient? No, probably not. <laughs> I, I got racks on racks on racks. I believe that to be a uh, a term for stacks of money, but I don't know. I don't know about these terms. I'm going to the machine shop? What's down there? Fixable stuffs, apparently. So now I gotta use all my space engineering skills to fix things, even though I'm not a space engineer. Isaac sure as shit is a space engineer. See, here's how you test it real life. See, I can't pick up his arm. I, I pulled his damn head off. But wait, see, what I can do now is I can just preemptively shoot a dude. And he'll die. But so, normally, you know, when they're dead, you can pull their limbs off and shoot them at things. But if they're still alive, you can't. So... If you can't if you can't pull their limbs off, they're still alive. If you can pull their limbs off, they're dead and they're safe to approach. Learning with Jack. Well, basic strats is what we're learning. Flame what the hell is going on here? Danvers, Henderson, he's crazy. He's pulling his own teeth out. Henderson, for God's sake! He sounds like he's oh, got God. some problems. Is he dead? Relax. He's alive. But he hit that door pretty hard. Man, why would he do something like that? I don't get it. Because they've gone crazy. I and mean, I know how a crazy a bad tooth can make you. But that seems a bit extreme. Can I pull your head off? No. I can't stomp it off, though. Gotta keep him from coming back. It's important. I don't have no time to read no text logs. That's not how this works. I think I'm gonna go for the pulse rifle. Not capacity. And the first one is capacity. Which is good because I really wanted to, to put some more capacity in this. Because it does give you these, uh, these uh, empty nodes. So you just sort of have to bear it and put a node in there even though you don't get any immediate payoff that kind of sucks but it's it's the way it is because sometimes you gotta make sacrifices to make progress maybe it's just to keep you from getting too powerful too fast and stop huh. it's real disconcerting when they run past you like that because then you know they're there but you don't know exactly where they are and again, that's very, very mind-fucky. And it's cool, don't get me wrong, it's one of my favorite things about the game is... It's definitely to my left, it's definitely to my left, I heard it. And there you are! And die. The way they scream at you is also very effective, I... I like it. I like it a lot. I love it. Kinesis is required, oh. And we pull it closer. I'm not fucking up with the buttons as much, so that's at least something. I seem to have stopped sucking as much. I need to go across, don't I? No, I need to go up there. <laughs> so we just did uh, extra work for nothing. I mean, I figure I'm gonna need it in about two seconds, but... What is this? Alright, it's um... Oh, that was easy. 
just pull down a thing. But what if you didn't have Kinesis? Would they have to request someone with a Kinesis module? See, now we're going across. This guy's gonna get stomped. It keeps them from coming back. I mean, if I was in this universe, I'd like to stay dead. Because getting brought back like that ain't living. It's killing for the most part, really. Oh, fuck no. When, when I when I heard there would be gondola rides, I, I predicted, or my, I imagined something a bit more romantic. And this is bad. Come on. Ah. Uh, switch, switch, switch. And you kill them all. Why don't you like getting cut to pieces? And I think it's dead. And I, I emptied like a half a clip into that dude. It's totally not fucking dead. Oh, it is dead. Nope, not dead, not dead, not dead, not dead. Die. See, I was wondering why it like didn't drop anything or something. And then it hit me. Literally. <laughs> Uh, I actually got to use that joke. <laughs> yay, yay. I was wondering why the creature didn't hit, didn't drop anything, and then it hit me. I am now quite content with myself. Like, you don't, you don't even know. Oh, I could use it. Neat. Again, I'm just trying to keep it from using my, um, my lounge. It packs. I'm pretty sure this leads the same way. But always go the opposite direction of what the game tells you to do. Don't be a part of its system. I, mean, I don't you don't have much of a choice much of the time, but Never should let him live. Never should let him live. Shut it, Danvers. Shut it. Engineering log. Temple reporting. Someone has shut off the fuel lines to the primary engine and damaged the valves in the process. They need to be repaired before I can reopen them, but we're running out of time. With the engine offline, orbit decay will begin in less than 10 hours. I just can't understand how we do this. If it's one of those crazy unitologist bastards, I'll break their neck. Anderson said they were coming. We never should have let them live. Shut up, Danvers. Help me with the tools. Temple out. I mean, breaking their neck sounds like something a unitologist would want in this situation because they're all about getting that convergence fucking crazies my crazy people gotta fuck it up for not quite so crazy people i wish there was more nodes oh, it's a bit different or more it's a it's a bit extreme uh, portrayal of um of what you might call it religion in in this game but it it shows you sort of the, the extremes of what religion can bring you to do. Because, you know, that doctor guy, he's a unitologist. Ooh, the Ripper. The Ripper isn't super good, but I'm having it. Would I rather drop... I'm gonna drop some ammo. I have so much fucking, um... Whatchamacallit. I have so much fucking... Uh, Plasma cutter ammo? I'm not gonna run out of plasma, plasma cutter ammo. Whatever you did, it's working, Isaac. I have a fuel reading. It's only a quarter full, but that's enough to restore orbit once you bring the engines online. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off! Punt! Ah! This thing is real good against the babies because, uh, uh, unless they go onto the walls, then it's a uh, pretty shit. Oop, shoot me. If they go onto the walls, it doesn't work as well. But if they're on a on a surface that's level with you, it it'll take them out in a single shot most of the time. Why I want more space? I want more dead space? Drop that shit. I wonder if it has like a 
a meter it goes by like it does it I wonder if it chooses what to pick up based on um, vicinity or um, on usefulness because in a lot of cases it chooses in a lot of cases it, ch it chooses the wrong thing for me I wonder if they're gonna do the whole bunch of dudes on the other side thing again I'm gonna switch to the plasma cutter I'm gonna alternate fire alternate fire this was just turn still cool don't get me wrong it's I do wish that thing would just at me already. There's one. He's running around having a good time. Well, at least someone's having a good time. That's something. Even if he is a an undead or transformed corpse. No, no, you will not get me, you slimy fox. God, I wish I had forced him. Come on. You slimy bastard. Jesus, I only have like 46 ammo. Uh, what is that? I'm not even gonna pick those up. Not even gonna pick them up. Because I know what they're gonna do. They're gonna take up space. Space that I don't necessarily have right now. Three met packs is usually fine. You usually don't need that much more than three. Where are you? Did we do it? See? It's stabbing him in his uh, non existent head. That seems a bit hacks. The game's using hacks. I do not approve of this use of hacks. Oh, his head is just missing right I suppose that makes sense, though. And he's dead. Three. Dude had three grand on him. I didn't see no three grand when I punched him. But he did have three grand on him. Apparently. Just gonna... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up all these line racks in the immediate vicinity. So like over here and over here, and then I'm gonna sell them, and I'm maybe gonna buy something if I can. Getting all these sweet deals on things. Yes, I'm sure I want to sell them. Can I buy anything? Nope, can't buy nothing. I mean, I could sell my my last small med pack that I have in storage. That should give me enough to buy the Ripper. Do I want the Ripper though? Yeah, I think I want the Ripper. Because it's uh, real good for... Already oh, sold both of them. <laughs> Ooh, that's just uh, that's a lot to commit to. So something like that. I'm going to sell on that pack. Is that dumb? Maybe. Quite possibly, most likely. Most likely it's like super stupid, but I'm doing it because I'm probably quite stupid. Or I just trust in my uh, my own ability to to play this game. Why, why did I overwrite that one but not so many times before? Because I realized that that's not the, the first save for this video. You never want to uh, overwrite the saves that like bridge one episode to another in case you fuck up the recording and you have to start over it's happened to me a couple of times and every single one of those times I had not done this so I uh, just kind of had a fucked up video and I would like to prevent that for the future so that the quality of my videos can stay at a certain level I don't want air! Well, I mean, I need air, but I have yet to actually run out of air. Now the centrifuge is offline. We've got four trillion tons of rock hanging off our ass, and without that centrifuge to balance the ship, the gravity tethers will pull us straight down to the colony. I'm heading in there now to see if I can fix it. I, I don't like this room. 
I always have and always will hate this room. See, cause that's just not funny. Oh, let's rip her time, bitches. Let her fucking rip. Come on, at me. Urgh. I mean, it's the bit in between the fighting that scares me. I'm not afraid of fighting. Get cut the fuck up. Plasma energy. You see, that's what the Ripper does. It, it suspends a blade a distance from you. And then you just cut shit to fuck. And then they die. Isn't that nice? I, mean, I don't have any, uh, any ammo for it. Oh, I don't have any extra ammo for it. Alright. Where'd you go? And just cut things to bits. But I mean, um, I am pretty much out of ammo for it, so I'm just gonna switch to something else. Are we done? Can I leave now? Decontamination sequence complete. Uh huh. Thank you for your patience. Yeah, decontaminate the fuck out of these necromorphs with extreme motherfudging prejudice, you feel me. <sighs> but you have to go through that room like three, four times or something. And it sucks every time. Because you're stuck and you f really feel corner. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go back for a little bit because you know what that room reminds me of now that I think about it. How it's a good place to end this episode, so that's what I'm gonna do. So leave a like if you like the video, share it if you feel like sharing it. Leave a comment if you got something you want to tell me, especially if it's that I suck. And if you want to see more of my stuff, pitch in and subscribe. But until next time, thank you so much for watching and peace out, pitches.